Hi and welcome to another episode of Tube Test. I'm Johnny. I'm Natalie. And this is baby AV who's turning one years old coming up. Yes, next week. Can you believe she's that old already? It's crazy. Well, today we're going to be talking about the Cathedral Pipes St. Jean Baptiste, which is based loosely on a FET 47. It comes in this pretty cool toolbox. Yeah, and it's so funny because I always think of microphones as being recording tools and they took it to the extreme, the guys at Cathedral Pipes, you know, Chuck, and it's just absolutely fantastic that it's in a red toolbox. So there you have it. It's cut out foam, which it's usually, you know, pretty manufacturers going to you know, get out a microphone and the, the case is always the weird thing. But these guys spared no expense. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a cable, which is the OCC copper cable. The case is awesome. Um, the foam is cut out, so it's it's not one of those things that's going to fall apart, which mm -hmm. is pretty neat. It's got the Rycoat shock mount, which this is probably one of the best shock mounts um, on the market. And I'll tell you, I'm excited that if you look really closely, you get to see the Cathedral Pipes logo. Oh, I've never noticed that before. Yeah. Wow, that looks great. It's just the attention to detail that the guys at Cathedral Pipes are doing. You know, it's got an M7 capsule in um, the microphone, and that's an M7 that's based on the M7, but it's actually the Cathedral Pipes version of the M7. Oh, okay. And instead of just kind of giving you a straightforward microphone that, you know, is kind of boring, they did this whole checkered flag thing, the racing kind of. And it's not, it's not just painted on there. I mean, it, it, it's really, I don't even know how they did that, but it's, it doesn't feel cheap or any way, in any way. No, it's a whole process. I mean, they laser engraved it, like oh. the whole deal. So I really like that. The bottom is actually a, um, you know, binder connector goes on there. It's the old three pin that uh, goes on, you know, the cable and the cable is specific to the microphone, where oh, okay. a lot of um, microphones on there, you can just plug in a regular XLR cable, but it paired up to the cable. So that's kind of the important part as mm -hmm. well. Well, I heard it at NAMM, I yeah. was blown away. This one I bought. <laughs> I immediately bought the thing and I told Chuck, I said, man, I I'm keeping this thing. This thing sounds absolutely incredible. Well, he brought it home and I heard it and I said, so this doesn't have a tube in it? I couldn't believe that it didn't have a tube because it has that like warm quality. So let's test it out and see what you think. All by myself in the morning all by myself in the night I sit alone with a table and a chair So unhappy there, playing solitaire I get all by myself and I get so lonely Watching the clock on the shelf I'd love to rest my weary head on somebody's shoulder I hate to grow older all by myself. After you've gone and left me crying, after you've gone, there's no denying. You feel blue, you feel sad, you'll miss the bestest palette boy you ever had. There'll come a time, don't you forget it There will come a time, boy, when you regret it Someday, when you grow lonely Your heart will break like mine and you want me only After you've gone, after you've gone away Okay, Natalie, so what'd you think? Well, I love it. I personally am very glad that we have this microphone in our microphone arsenal. Well, I love the fact that it's American made. It's mm -hmm. made in Huntington Beach, actually. And they make their version of the M7. They make everything. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. The, As you saw, the body it was like, spare no expense. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a cool microphone. And I just wanna thank Chuck and the guys at Cathedral Pipes for actually not trying to copy or doing something that's um, you know the same, but they try to make it even Pushing cooler. it forward, they're evolving. So next time on Tube Test, Natalie, we've got a lot of microphones that are collecting around here, which... We have too many! Yeah, it's cool, and I, mean, I love it. I mean, in a good way. Yeah, but... <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a lot of shows to do, and hopefully Avi will help out and like play a little bit of her flute that she's learning now. Yeah. 
She That'd knows how to play neat. the recorder. Yeah, but we've got the RMS 269 coming up. Okay, RMS 269. We've got 269. the JZ HH1. JZ HH1. Do you have a preference on which one you want to do? I guess let's do the handheld. We never do a handheld. That's true. We don't ever really. We don't really showcase them very often. We have a couple tests on modern microphones, but we don't. I don't think we've ever featured one on tube tests. So next time on tube tests, we're going to check out the JZ HH1 microphone, dynamic microphone, handheld. Mm, handheld. So I'm not going to jump the gun and tell you anything about it, but if you want to, you can go check it out at jzmic.com. Or but, we, I think we have a, a modern mics video for it. There is a modern mics video for it, so check that out, and we will see you next time on, on tube, tube tests. tests.